it's good enough for date night makeup, but it's wearable. It's not kind of in your face. There's not so much going on. How's it going guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel which is all about educational beauty. In today's video I'm going to be doing date night makeup but it's going to be kind of wearable. So I feel like I didn't want to do something which is like way too much makeup because maybe you guys are not used to it. So I thought let's do something which is date night makeup but also really nice and soft and kind of not OTT. So if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram so come say hi there too. Now let's head straight into the video. Okay so as I've already mentioned I have a date night tonight and we're going somewhere kind of like semi-casual and I don't want makeup which is like OTT. So I've already applied my moisturizer that's all done skincare's done. I'm gonna go in with my primer now and I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury primer the one with the SPF it's the flawless poreless UV primer. Okay going in with my concealer I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my eyelids quickly so just to kind of smooth it out and make it even. That's my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 35N Medium. So just kind of buffing that in with my Real Technique sponge. That's giving me a nice flawless kind of light finish to my eyelids. Going with a tiny bit of powder, just using my Ben Eye Banana Powder. There, eyelids are, I don't know why I said eyelids weird there. Eyelids are more, more or less done. And I'm just gonna dust off that excess powder. So that's basically set my eyelids. So now whatever I kind of want to do with my eyes, this is like almost priming them. So I don't need to use like a primer or anything with that. So that's all done. Now I am gonna move on to the rest of the face because I want to do my eyes last because I'm not really putting too much eyeshadow on. And plus it gives me a good idea of how heavy I want to go with the eyes. So let's just get on with the rest of the face. My primer's on. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of underpaint a little bit so just going to get my concealer on here my main thing is covering up these dark circles i'm not really fussed about coverage anywhere else but equally i don't want it to look like i've got all this coverage here and then the rest of the face just looks like blank it just makes the under eye concealer look more obvious okay just going to buff this in with my sponge Okay, I do want some dimension and I don't want to fully just rely on kind of like powder bronzer completely. So I am going to just add a bit of dimension to my face with a bit of the, a darker shade concealer. Okay, so let's just buff that in. That was my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, by the way. It's a great concealer and colour for kind of like sculpting the face. And obviously you can go as little or as more as you want. So you can apply more if you want more of a kind of evening glam look. But I don't want it to look so obvious. So I'm not going like with a crazy amount of product like I would usually go for. Okay, let's move on with foundation. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. And this shade is, what's this? Number nine, Neutral. That's the shade. And I'm going to go in with my sponge. I find that this foundation is quite thick, right? But it, it does give the most, like, stunning finish. But also, as much as it is kind of, like, thick, it's really weird to describe. Like, when you smear it across your face or your hand, you'll notice that it doesn't look thick then. But then when you kind of like smooth it over, it just, I don't know what it is, your skin looks like skin. So it isn't, as much as it it, it may look like a thick foundation, it does definitely doesn't look thick on the, on the face. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff that in, just lightly kind of like, I've not put a lot of the product on the sponge. So all I'm doing is just basically buffing it onto the skin, making sure that I stay obviously, you know, next to each other. Like each buff, each bounce is right next to each other. I'd never kind of lift, bounce it there and then lift it off and go somewhere else because it's just not going to stay uniform and you get a much cleaner, seamless finish this way. Okay, so now you can see we're kind of like, we've gone down most of half of the face and the coverage and finish is really nice with this and considering I didn't actually put any concealer on underneath in terms of like for coverage you know like the only concealer I put on the rest of my face other than the under eyes is the dark shade and that's just for sculpting that wasn't to cover anything up so like such a dark shade isn't really going to cover anything on my face okay got my powder now I'm just gonna get it onto the powder puff I just want to very quickly make sure there are no creases on my under eyes so let's just get rid of that while I look like a crazy person while I'm doing this 
Now, I'm not putting too much powder everywhere else because I honestly don't want it to really look overly powdery. So that's about it. So I'm just dusting away the powder. I'm using my Real Technique setting brush. And then for the rest of the, my, my face, the brush that I used is my Hourglass Veil brush. Right, I'm happy with that base. What do you think? So I feel like it's not like crazy. It's not like, you know, so much or really thick or cakey. It doesn't feel cakey. My skin still looks like skin. I can still see the odd few kind of flaws there, which I'm fine with. But I feel like I've got a nice flawless finish, if that makes sense, as well. I have been using this and it's, I, I think I said in the other video, it's too soon for me to tell you whether this is good or not. Like, I don't even know if it's actually doing anything, but I guess I'll tell you after a little while once I've got more kind of experience using it. This is the Benefit Bravo Condition primer we're gonna let that kind of like dry up a little bit because it does kind of like your eyebrows are a little bit wet so we'll let that kind of dry out before we do the eyebrows now i think what i'll do is i'll just sculpt my face very quickly i'm going to use my fenty private island bronzer and my hourglass veil brush and i'm just literally just gonna i just want to bronze up my face a little bit because it's just looking a bit kind of flat so you can see everything was flat right so now what i'm doing is i'm just giving myself just i like that bronzed look so what i do is i use a bronzer but i use it to kind of sculpt the face as well so everywhere that i feel that i need just a bit of shape you know and those areas that try i know you, you might be thinking well you put the dark concealer on underneath like hasn't that done what it needed to do for you it's more of a soft focus effect like that's what underpainting is had i have not applied that at all you would have seen that there would have been a much bigger difference so it does do something it just means that i don't have to fully rely on so much powder after where i feel like you know that gives me that kind of like sculpting but this is just kind of any anything extra extra that I want and that's it. I think that's fine. We'll do the other side. Okay, gonna get my 200 brush from Fenty. Just do my usual kind of like nose contour, which is just a diamond shape here. And then I just kind of like go up the sides of the nose. A little bit of highlight and tip as usual. This is like some Kat Von D brush. I don't even know what this is. No, it's not Kat Von D, it's an Odist brush. So it's just an Odist 021 brush. And that was my Tom Ford highlighter. I think I do want a bit of blush. So I'm just gonna get my stipple brush. I don't know what brush this is. It's from MAC and I think it's discontinued. But you can use any kind of like dual fiber brush. This is my blush from MAC called Peaches, which I think is quite a nice color. I haven't used this for a while. So I just want a bit of kind of like colour on the cheeks. There you go. I'm happy with that. It's like this really nice kind of, well, peachy colour. That actually wasn't peaches. I thought that was peaches. It's not. It was Melba. So yeah, that was that. That's also a really nice colour. So okay, let's move on. I'm going to do my eyebrows very quickly. So I don't want very heavy eyebrows. I'm just going to go for my usual kind of very soft brow. May not look soft to a lot of you, but it is soft to me. So let's move on. I'm going to use my Benefit precisely my brow pencil which i'm loving right now number four okay so brows are done i'm really happy with them I, like every day i'm starting to love that benefit brow pencil even more this is actually the 24 hour setter so i'm just gonna like brush that through okay now for the eyes i'm gonna be using a pencil this is the makeup forever artist color pencil in total taupe and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw it I'm gonna smudge it. Now, I really do love these pencils because I feel like you can use this for eyes, for, br for uh, brows, and also your lips. So it's really kind of easy to use these pencils. Okay, this is my Sigma Detailed Lip Brush L04. And nothing, let me just make sure there's nothing on this brush. That was my Sigma Matte, you know, this one. I told you about this, amazing. It's called the Switch Pad. I'll put that in the link, In I'll put the link in the description below because you get a discount from Sigma from, from with my code as well. It's Nina Ubi 10 Right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go really close to my lash line and I'm gonna go all the way across and just finish just before the end of the lash line. So we're kind of like drawing, almost like an eyeliner look, but I'm not bothered about it looking too neat. 
and you will see it start to develop slowly it's like just this like soft line and this color is just so good now you might need to adjust the color based on your skin color don't know what that noise was don't even know if you heard it but it came out of my chest <laughs> you might need to change the color to kind of make sure it shows up on your skin like i couldn't use something which was a bit lighter than this because it just wouldn't show up on my skin so just change it accordingly but as you can see this is not much darker than my skin so i don't want it to be too dark okay there you go you can see it's a faint line now i'm going to get this brush and i'm literally just going to touch the edges so just where i can see the kind of obvious line and i'm just going to go like back and forth like rub it back and forth keeping it kind of the same size there it's much softer so you can see hopefully you should be able to see, see a difference i know i can very clean there and here you've got this very soft taupe color on the lash line so what i'm going to do is just go over again but go a little bit thinner and it's just kind of like giving it more depth there you go so now the edges are nice and clean but we've added a little bit which is a bit thinner so we don't have to worry about any edges okay now what i'm going to do is kind of like draw a little flick draw it in the direction that i want my eye to kind of like go whoa my stomach is making some crazy noises right now okay a little flick there right we're going to do the same thing with this brush we're just going to kind of like rather than go back and forth i'm probably going to press and flick you know just flicking in the direction that i kind of want it to go and fade out use your finger if you need to see that's a lot softer now so it's a very slight lift there but that's it we're going to go ahead and do that to the other side honestly this is so easy to do guys like i wouldn't say it otherwise like i know that some people think oh yeah but you've been doing makeup for so long it's really simple because all you're doing is basically just drawing a line which you don't even have to worry about it being neat which is great so you just draw a rough line messy as you want and then grab a brush and just buff the edges and even my flick right it's not it's not perfect at all so all i'm doing is just getting the color there as as messy as it may be as long as you keep the shape smaller than what you want the finished look to be then you're you're all good to go you're going in the right direction there you go use my finger that i'm happy with that i feel like you know we've got a good kind of like soft line i haven't had to worry about precision okay now what i'm going to do is just do the same thing on the lower lash line you don't have to do this it's totally up to you but i'm just going to like just a little bit along the end and a bit thinner as we go in really just going into the lower lashes get this brush and just do the same thing here i can just go kind of like back and forth you can use a softer brush if you want okay let's get my lash curlers we're just gonna curl the lash because i'm not putting any false lashes on okay now let's go in with some mascara using my by Redo mascara I really do need to get a new one of this because it's totally kind of running out. I'm just trying to scrape up whatever I can. But it's such a good mascara. We make such weird faces, don't we? When we're putting makeup on. <laughs> like, like I, you know what I did? I just, I just, I just tried to stop doing it while I was doing it. And I was like, and then I stopped and I was like, that doesn't actually make much of a difference. So you don't know why I'm stressing my face out so much. You know what? I'm going to use that same pencil for my lip liner and see what it's like. Because it's a really nice colour. So I like doing that for a very soft look. I just kind of draw it and then with my finger, I kind of like press it like inwards. Okay, I want to go for like a peachy one, so I'm going to use my Anastasia Hollywood lipstick, which apparently I've heard is discontinued. So guys, if you find this, you need to go get it. It's the best colour ever. I need to obviously try and find some dupes for this. I'll add a little bit of highlight because I just want that little bit of glow for tonight. So I'm going to use my Tom Ford highlighter, my 134 Zoeva brush, and I'm just going to kind of apply it. I, I don't want it like all over this area because obviously it just enhances like any kind of like acne scars or anything that I have. So I'm just going to do it quite high up. 
because those are the kind of like areas I don't really need to worry about skin texture so much. I'm actually pretty happy with that because I feel like it's nice makeup, you know, it's it's good enough for date night makeup, but it's wearable, it's not kind of in your face, there's not so much going on. And I feel like it's also good for date night, which is kind of, you know, semi-casual because we don't all go or go all the time to kind of like really glam date night. You know, date night doesn't always mean it has to be so glam. You don't always go to glam places. I don't know about you, but I don't always go. If anything, that's probably the place I, I don't really like going to too many glam, glam places. I feel way more comfortable and just generally enjoy more kind of like kind of casual places, you know? So I don't want to really, honestly, I think it's the heels thing. I don't want to wear heels. <laughs> I really don't. I've been there, done that for so many years. And now I'm at this point where I'm just like, you know what? I need to be comfortable so that I can actually enjoy it. So if you enjoy it in heels, go for it, but I don't, so I prefer kind of like more chilled places. So I think this is a good makeup look, which is kind of wearable. And I feel like even if you try it, it's something which is achievable. You know, it's not something which is like, okay, this is this is gonna take me a bit of time. Let me set aside a few hours for this. I feel like this is doable for most people. So I really do hope that you've kind of like enjoyed it and you can add things. If you wanna add a bit more black, if you wanna add more of a wing, you can do that. So don't think that this is the look and that's it adapt it to your own personal style and obviously find the right kind of shade pencil that you think works well on your eyes personally i love those makeup forever pencils because they don't kind of it's not there's nothing nothing technical about it it's not like those pencils where it's like oh it's going to stay all night so therefore it dries straight away and then or it starts flaking i feel like this pencil is going back to basics you know when makeup was uncomplicated where you don't have to worry about all that extra stuff like flaking how quick does it dry does it blend okay is it you know smudge proof blah 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 you put this on and you don't have to worry about it i feel like you know it stays in place it it's not difficult to blend it it can be used in so many different areas of the face so yeah it's something that i'm really loving and they have so many different shades so yes there you go I really do hope you've enjoyed this look and if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and i'll see you soon